I would yield uh, two minutes to my friend and colleague from Texas, Congressman Goldman. Gentleman from Texas, recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, I'm sure most people have heard about the guy that kept beating himself in the head with a hammer, and when people said, why are you doing that, he said, because it feels so good when I stop. The trouble is, we keep beating the same people that are footing the bill for everything. Now, I know this bill is well-intentioned. I know the hearts of those who are pushing this, but the trouble is, there's a big difference between the investment banks that have squandered money and got us into big trouble, and the community banks who have been making good loans. The trouble is, once you allow a bankruptcy judge not only to do what they can do now with mortgages, change the rate, change the terms, but to actually bring down the principal to whatever the bankruptcy judge feels like, then banks, these good, solid community banks will be in jeopardy, and they'll be only able to give loans to those who can prove for sure they will not ever file bankruptcy. You're going to put in jeopardy the bottom lines of the people who have actually been responsible and had good banks and done the right things. And the bottom line is the people who we have saddled with so much debt in just the last few months the, the young people, the young couples that are trying to make it and are hoping for a home loan, they're not only going to be cussing our name 30 years from now for the debt we put them in, but when they go to the bank after this passes, they won't get a home loan because we've been irresponsible trying to help but not looking at the ramifications of what we're doing. This adds to the hundreds of billions we've already spent, and now we're going to hurt the very people that we need to be relying on to get this economy going. The young people need to be able to get those loans to get homes, and this will ensure they can't go get them because we've been irresponsible in not thinking about the unforeseen conclusions. The point is, we can foresee them. We know what's going to happen. Talk to your community banks. Don't hurt them. Don't hurt the young working people any more than we already had. Give them a break. Do the right thing. Don't cram this down on a America and our young people. I yield back. Gentlemen from Michigan.